In this video, I'm going to use this multimeter to measure current in some circuits. So, this is an auto ranging multimeter for the most part. So, this meter, you don't have to make as many adjustments as others, but uh, they work pretty much the same. So, the first step though, we're going to have to insert these probes into the meter. So, to begin with, the black probe here, not the pointy end, but uh, this end, goes into the slot labeled COM. And as far as I know, all multimeters, the black probe is entered into COM. So then, our second probe, the red probe, we have to select between these two holes. Now this is up in the amp range, up to 10 amps. So everything else this meter does is over here. We're going to do milliamps, so we're going to put it into that hole. So now that brings us to the circuit. So when you're measuring current, you actually need to open up the circuit. So here we have a resistor and LED circuit, but they're separated. If we plug the battery in, no power will go through here. So we will put the black probe towards the negative side, and then the red probe towards the positive side, and then the current will flow through the meter, from the resistor through the meter to the LED. So now I have turned the dial to milliamps because since we're measuring a circuit with an LED, we know that it will be in the milliamp range. And now we're ready to take our reading. So in this case we put the black probe in the opening towards the negative side of the circuit. And then the red probe we connect to the opening on the positive side, which is the end of the two components. And here you can see we got about 14.7 uh, milliamps going through the circuit. Because remember the current going through these components is also going through the meter. So that really is all there is to measuring current. You just need to have an open spot such as between these two components where you complete the circuit with the meter. So these are in series when I do this. The LED and then the multimeter and then the resistor. So you need to make sure that everything is still in series, that you don't skip a component like this. If I had the battery applied now and the meter on to measure milliamps, there'd be way too much current going through the LED. Well, the LED would fry. Luckily, that should fry before the meter. But uh, some circuits, the meter might, uh, you might blow the fuse if you bypass a component that lowers the current. So you want to make sure all the components are still part of the circuit. But other than that, that's really all there is. Plus, this is a breadboard. I can easily put the components where I want. In a real life circuit, uh, you may have no option of opening up the circuit, at least no easy way. And so generally people just measure voltages and stuff and do calculations to get an estimate of the current.